Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you some of the best things that you can do around Ayanapa. So Ayanapa is a beautiful resort town on the southeast coast of Cyprus. It is famous for its stunning beaches, beautiful hidden gems and unique scenery. So whether you're looking for adventure or relaxation, Ayanapa has something for everyone. So let's get started. And our first stop is right in the heart of the town itself. This is the Bridge of Lovers, where you can enjoy a panoramic view of the Mediterranean Sea from atop this natural rock formation that arches over the water. Just behind this spot you can find Ayanapa Sculpture Park, an incredible place to see some international art and culture. It's a unique open-air museum that showcases more than 200 sculptures. They depict different themes such as mythology, history and nature and you can stroll around the park and just admire the artworks against this stunning coastal backdrop. Next up is probably the most popular beach in Ayanapa and that is Nisi Beach. This beach has a lively atmosphere of white sand and crystal clear blue water. You can also walk across the sandbar to Ayanapa Island to get an incredible view of the coast. We made it, Ellie. We are on the Ayanapa Island. We can swim here. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to swim because it's warm. Yeah. And whilst this certainly is the most popular beach in Ayanapa, it is not my personal favorite. And I'll tell you a little bit about that one a bit later in the video. But from here, I want to take a five to 10 minute drive down towards Cape Greco. Cape Greco is a national park located on the peninsula that is packed full of unique scenery, interesting plants and many, many lizards. Big lizard. He's off. This is my personal favorite area to explore and I think with this next location, you'll see why. These are the sea caves, a series of natural caverns and tunnels carved by the waves over thousands of years. You can actually climb down to the caves from here and on your way you'll pass this iconic viewpoint for the picture perfect photo opportunity before climbing down to the crystal clear water below. There you go, try to go in there. <laughs> yeah. Just watch your step because the rocks around the edge are very jagged and slippery. Now if you're in the mood for a hike from the sea caves, you can actually walk maybe around 20 minutes to get to the best view of Cape Greco that you can find here. Because you'll probably notice this hill that sticks out and overlooks the coastline. And from the top, the view is breathtaking. You've got the Cape Greco Peninsula on the one side, and the Ayanapa coastline on the other. And if you do time it right and manage to see the sunset from here, this was the, the best sunset that we saw throughout our entire year of living in Cyprus. Next up, we're heading back to the town itself to learn even more about some of the history and culture of Cyprus in the Thalassa Museum. This museum is dedicated to the sea and its influence on human civilization. The museum displays exhibits such as medieval shipwrecks, modern fishing tools and contemporary art. The highlight of the museum is definitely this replica of a 4th century BC Greek merchant ship that was found off the coast of Kyrenia, which is a city that you can find on the north coast of Cyprus. Next up, we're going for a taste of luxury and glamour because we're heading to Ayanapa Marina. This place features yachts, it has a beach club with pools and bars, and a shopping mall with boutiques and restaurants. It really is just a great place to spend a few hours. From here, you can also go on a very short walk up the coast to find this chapel. The chapel itself is beautiful and I think the views overlooking the sea just make for such a picturesque setting. Now let's head back into Cape Greco but we're going to head over to the other side of the coastline and this one is that personal favourite beach of mine that I was talking about earlier because this is Konos Beach. 
The beach has soft golden sand and calm, clear turquoise water. And when you've had enough of swimming and lounging about in the water, just a short 20 minute walk along the coast, you can find Cyclops Cave, allowing you to see even more beautiful coastal views and explore this unique natural cave as well. Whilst we're in the area, just the other side of the same bay, you can find this church, but this isn't just any church because it has a hidden secret underneath it. Because if you venture down the stairs, that go down the side of the cliff, you can find this cave, which is the perfect place to cool down and have a little break from the sun and maybe even another swim, if you like. Are you okay? You need a hand? I'll do it, I'll do it. You're <laughs> good, good. Five minute walk even further down the coast from here, you can get to Crow's Arch, if you like, which is a very hidden gem. And around another 20 minutes on from here again, you can find the Blue Lagoon, which is home to some of the bluest water I've ever seen. I think it even gives the sea caves a run for their money. And so yeah, this part of the Cape Greco coastline, along with the sea caves, they're my personal favorites and something definitely that you shouldn't miss if visiting Ayanapa. But now I have one more spot and we started in the town itself. So let's head back to the town and go full circle for another historical and cultural location. And that is Ayanapa Aqueduct. This historical monument dates back to the 18th century and it was built to supply water to the town from a nearby spring. You can actually find a few of these dotted all throughout Cyprus in order to get water to these towns. If you're looking for a more detailed itinerary, I would say that you could probably spend a couple of days in the resort town of Ayanapa itself, and then maybe a day exploring the east coast of Cape Greco, which is Conos Beach and all of those locations, and a day exploring the west coast, which is the sea caves and this beautiful viewpoint. And what's great is these places are all within around 10 minutes of each other, so you're never driving far. You can kind of see so many places and if you take my advice and decide to walk between them, I think that's a great thing to do because not only do you see these famous iconic locations, you also see all of the hidden gems and unknown spots between them. So if you did enjoy this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you enjoyed. Please do subscribe if you want to see more from Cyprus. We have videos from all over Cyprus pretty much every part of it, not just Ayanapa, but Nicosia, Larnaca, Limassol, Paphos, the Akamas Peninsula, the Trodos Mountains, which are a very untouched bit of Cyprus that you definitely shouldn't miss if you have the opportunity. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one, and goodbye.